Our other big story first at 430, remembering a Valley News legend and our dear friend Kent Dana. Tomorrow there will be a celebration of life in his honor. Kent passed away last month at the age of 80. He was a fixture on 12 News for 25 years. Kent was a colleague and a mentor to many of us. And one of the things that he was most passionate about was Wednesday's Child, a weekly report about adoption and foster care. Wednesday's Child made a big difference in people's lives and created new families. Right now on First at 430, Kent's son Joe Dana gives us new insight into his dad's legacy with a special reunion. When I first met Isaac and his sister Esther recently, I was reminded of the power of this thing we call TV news. This public square that we all share, where humanity connects, and sometimes where families are even created. The year was 1998. Cindy and Dennis Hunt were about to add to their family a boy they saw on Wednesday's child, the fifth child they would adopt. Well, in, uh, in about 60 minutes, we pick up number five, uh, Isaac, we saw on your show about a month ago. This is Isaac today, a cook and certified nursing assistant in the East Valley. These are the parents that showed me love, affection, kindness when they didn't need to. His adoption story, a, a testament, message. there are many ways to build a family. We chose those kids. Sharika loves animals. As the host of Wednesday's Child Segments, my dad used the power of storytelling. Thanks to a new beginning with a new family. To reveal faces behind the foster care system. Oh, yeah. Good. Without Kent Dana and Wednesday's Child, I wouldn't have had my kids. The Hunt family's journey began in 1990. We watched Wednesday's Child and all of a sudden it came on and my husband Dennis said, well, why don't we do that? First came Harry and Esther. Harry now has a family of his own in California. Esther lives in Mesa, grateful for memories made possible by her adopted parents. Going to games and doing Special Olympics, and my dad was my basketball coach. Two years later, Cindy and her husband saw this Wednesday's child story. Christopher and Joseph, who were big fans, had a chance to go to a game. Your dad said in the story, I really hope we can keep them together. And I looked at Dennis and I said, so they would separate brothers? I said, well, we can't. We can't do that. The household grew. Over the years, my dad developed a soft spot for the Hunt family from Mesa. He would send us like circus tickets. And then your dad called me to tell me about this little boy, Isaac, who was coming up that night. He said, Cindy, I'm not pushing you but you need to look at him. She watched that night's Wednesday's child. A couple months later, Isaac was in our house. If it wasn't for that moment, I definitely wouldn't have had the future that I have now. The judge will uh, hear arguments. Thanks to a behind the scenes nudge from the local news anchor, this family of five kids was now complete. Then I called Ken and said, no more. The <laughs> inn is full. <laughs> Sadly, the Hunts lost their dad, Dennis, to early onset Alzheimer's disease. My dad was a cornerstone. He allowed us to grow. He allowed us to stretch and spread our rings. To anyone thinking of adopting out there, what would you say? Do it. Uh, there's, <laughs> sorry, that was really blunt and very quick. <laughs> um, People ask me quite often, would you do it again? And I kind of say to them, well, when your kid's having its worst day, would you do it again? <laughs> you know, like, teen years were challenging for some of my kids, not for all of them, but they're challenging for biological kids too, right? Yeah, yeah I would do it again, and I would encourage everybody because there's so many kids out there. Is there a better legacy possible no kidding. than helping so many children and families connect? I mean, that heart is so full of love. I mean, what an amazing mother. And the fact that Kent felt that close enough to give her that nudge and say, hey, yeah. could you do one more? I mean, that just, it speaks volumes in so many ways. About so the man he was. Yeah. Uh, the man we'll celebrate tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You can join the celebration of Kent Dana's life again tomorrow beginning at 10 a.m. Just go to 12news.com or 12news.com slash Facebook to see that very special memorial.